what are the different authentication methods in REST Assure. REST Assure provides support for several authentication methods like basic authentication, digest authentication, form authentication, OAuth2, OAuth1 authentication. The basic authentication scheme requires the consumer to send user ID and password. So let's see with an example. So here if you would have seen authentication I passed as none. So but if you have a username and password what you can do you can pass it as something like this dot basic. So here you can pass something your username for example Subhashish and password is for example password 1 something like this whatever is your password so this is what is your basic authentication then we have digest authentication we have digest authentication digest authentication has an advantage over the basic protocol as it avoids sending the password in clear text Again, you can use here the same thing. Uh, what you can do here, dot, here you can pass digest. And similarly, you can pass your username and password here. Okay. How I have passed last time, right? Subhasis and some password, one or two, whatever is your password. Then we have form authentication. So, Many services provide an HTML form for the user to authenticate by filling in fields with their credentials. When the user submits the form, the browser executes a post request with the information. Normally the form indicates the endpoint that it will call with its action attribute and each input field corresponds with a form parameter sent in the request. If the login form is simple enough and follows a few rules then we can rely on rest assured to figure out these values uh, for example here what we can do auth dot form here you can see two things right string string and one string string and form auth so if we we'll use the first one string string so again this is just like username and password but if we we'll use this so you need to give the form also here so your username and password and the form which form it will return same you can pass then we have OAuth1 and OAuth2 so these are uh, popular HTTP authentication mechanisms uh, rest assure allows configuring the OAuth access token to request a secure resource the library doesn't provide any help in up obtaining the access token we need to generate it through our code which is a bit tricky uh, you need to generate that access token and you need to pass it again you can use oauth dot auth dot oauth for example oauth2 here you can pass the access token access token so that's how your different authentication mechanisms work. Okay. 